Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Strat Baseball History. My name is Joe, and this is another game from our 1962 replay between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the hometown New York Mets. The Pirates come into the game with a record of one win and two losses, while the Mets come in with a surprising record of two wins and one loss. On the mound today for New York will be Bob Miller, his first start of the season. 1-12 in 62, a 4.89 ERA, 21 starts, 148 hits allowed in 144 innings, 62 walks, 91 strikeouts, and 20 home runs allowed. He'll be matching up against a Bob Friend, who is 1-0 with a 1.00 ERA. Friend making his second start of the year. The lineup for Pittsburgh today. In center field, uh, Bill Verdon. At shortstop, Dick Grote. In left field, Bob Skinner. At first base, Dick Stewart. At right field, Roberto Clemente. At third base, Don Hoke. At catcher, batting seventh, Don Leppert. Batting eighth, second baseman, Bill Mazeroski. And batting ninth will be the pitcher friend. <clears throat> the lineup for New York today. Leading off will be uh, center fielder Richie Ashburn. Batting second, shortstop, Ilio Chacon. Batting third, third baseman, Felix Mantilla. Batting cleanup in left field, Frank Thomas. Batting fifth, first baseman, Marv Throneberry. Batting sixth, right fielder, Joe Christopher. Batting seventh, the catcher, Sammy Taylor. Batting eighth, the second baseman, Rod Keneal. And batting ninth, Bob L. Miller, the pitcher. So without... Any further ado, the ump is ready for the first pitch. Verdon is in the box, and Miller deals. It's a 1-4. Fly ball to right field. Uh, Christopher roams over and takes that for the first out of the inning. We'll bring up shortstop, Dick Grote, a 5-7. Uh, Scramble, second base, X. Keneal is a 5. Uh, we roll a 4. That's a single. Past Keneal into center field. So Grote is on at first, and E-stealing. He's not going anywhere, and Bill Skinner, uh, excuse me, Bob Skinner coming up against Miller with one on, one out. One ten is a fly ball to center. Ashburn rooms over and takes it for the second out. That leaves it up to Dick Stewart, the first baseman, with one man on and two down. A 6-7 is a fly ball right field. So again, Christopher over, takes it. For the third out, and Pittsburgh no score, one left. And we go to the bottom of the first. Mets coming up. Ashburn, Chacon, and Mantia to face Friend. Bob Friend ready to deal. It's a 6 3. Fly ball to right field. Clemente, of course, a 1. And the 9 on the 1 is an out by Clemente. So Clemente retires Ashburn for the first out. And that will bring up Chacon. The pitch to Chacon is a 3-12. Fly ball right field. We know how that's going to go. Clemente moves under it, takes it for the second out. And there are two quick outs here for New York in the first. Here's Felix Mantilla. 1-11. Grounder down to second. Mazeroski scoops it up and throws to Stewart to retire the side. The Mets go down 1-2-3 against Friend. And after one, there is no score. <clears throat> All-time great right fielder Roberto Clemente leading off. 4-7 is the pitch from Miller. And Clemente takes a base on balls. So Roberto is a C-stealer down at first. Makes him a 1-13. If they hold him, he's a 1-11. So they will hold him. And Don Hoke comes to the plate. Hook a serviceable hitter, but not so good that we're not going to hit and run with Clemente here. That's a ground ball to second base on the six on the hit and run chart. <clears throat> so Keneal will pick it up and throw over to Throneberry for the first out, and Clemente moves to second. So Hook does his job, hits the ball to the right side, and moves the runner along. So now Clemente in scoring position for the catcher, Don Leppert. Bob L. Miller ready to deal, and Leppert waits. A 6-10. That's a fly ball left field C. A shallow fly to left. Thomas roams over, takes the second out. 
and Clemente will have to hold at second. That brings up Bill Mazeroski. Burnham in scoring position and two down, and here's the pitch. But a 1-8. Pops this one up on the infield. The third baseman, Amantia, roams over. Just in foul territory and takes the ball for the final out. Retiring Mazeroski. Pittsburgh leaves one. And we go to the bottom of the first. Thomas, Thronberry, and Christopher do up. Top friend to deal to. The dangerous Frank Thomas. 1-8. Is a ground ball to short? Grote picks it up. Slings it over to first where Stewart picks it, and that's the first out. Here's Marv Throneberry. The bit from friend is a 3-7, and down on strikes for Throneberry. He was fooled badly on that curveball. Two quick outs, and here's Joe Christopher. A 6-4, ground ball third base. Hook is a 2, and that's a 15. That's going to be picked by Hoke over the first to Stewart. And another one, two, three inning. Four friend, and New York is retired. Nobody left. No score as we head to the third. <clears throat> In the third, it's going to be Friend leading off, followed by the top of the order, Verdon and Grote. The pitch to Bob Friend is a 2-8, and Miller strikes him out. A one down for Pittsburgh, and Verdon comes back to the plate. He flew out his first time up. A 3-6 is a line drive, but right at Keneal at second, he picks it out of the air for the second out. And two down for Pittsburgh, here's Dick Grote. He singled his first time up. How about a 4-4? Four, four. That's a fly ball to center. Ashburn's a 3. And a 6 on the outfield. 3 is an out. Ashburn roams over, runs under it, and puts Grote away for the third out. Here in the third inning, Pittsburgh 1-2-3 uh, and no score. In the bottom of the third, it'll be the bottom of the Mets order, Taylor, Keneal, and Miller. Friend dales to Taylor, to 6-10. Another fly ball to center. Verdon's a 1. A 6 on the outfield. 1 is an out. Verdon takes the Taylor fly ball for the first out. No problem. So with Taylor down, here comes Keneal to the plate for his first at bat of the day. Bob Friend deals, and Keneal with a 3-7. That's a base hit, the first Mets hit of the day. And Keneal gets down to first, rounds, and comes back to the bag as the throw comes in. Keneal, a C stealer. He'll be a 1-11 chance with the hold put on. And it looks like they're going to ask Bob Miller to hit and run. On 11, he swings and misses, and Keneal's on his way to second. 1-11 to 11 safe chance, and he is caught stealing. So Leopard guns down Keneal in a botched hit-and-run attempt. And Miller has to step back into the box now with two outs and nobody on. A 2-11, that's a grounder down to second. Mazeroski picks it up, flings it to Stewart for the third out. So we're a third of the way through, folks, and no score. Pittsburgh coming up with the heart of their order, Skinner, Stewart, and Clemente. Skinner 0 for 1 on the day against Miller. Here's a 3-8. That's the base hit. Skinner's on first. And Dick Stewart coming. Skinner a little bit of speed. We'll try. Now nah, we're going to hit away. About a 6-8, triple 1-8, to eight, single 9-20 to 20 on Miller's card. That's a base hit for Stewart. Skinner's going to scamper over to third. And Stewart has himself a no-out single. So it's Burns at the corners. Nobody out, and Clemente to the plate. Miller in the stretch, he deals. A 2-11. That's a base hit up the middle, just off the glove of Keneal. Skinner's going to come in to score, and Clemente's got himself an RBI base hit. Stewart has to stop at second as Keneal recovers the ball. Basically an infield single for Clemente, but it gets the job done, and Pittsburgh now leads 1-0. Runners at first and second, and Don Hoke coming up. Hoke grounded out his first time. Miller with the pitch. Say 5-2, uh, and that's a base on balls to load the bases. And Miller a little flustered here. He was a little too careful with Hoke. And now he's got a bases-loaded situation with no outs and Leopard coming up. 
Leopard flew out to left field last time. Miller's ready to pitch, and here's the pitch, a 2-7. And he'll fly out to left again, but this one's going to be deep enough. For Stewart to tag at third and come home, beats the throw, no problem. And Pittsburgh adds another run. They trade the run for the out with a sacrifice fly and now lead 2 to nothing. So Mazeroski to the plate. 0 for 1 on the day. Runners at first and second and 1 down. Uh, Miller deals. 4-5 and Mazeroski strikes out. He thought that was ball 4, folks, and he goes back to the bench, shaking his head. Well, that'll bring up Friend, a little bit less dangerous for Miller here. First and second, two down. He may get out of this without too much damage. A 6-10, an easy fly ball over to left. Thomas roams under and makes the play. But the Pirates pick up two in the fourth and now lead two to nothing. Mets coming up. In the fourth, it'll be the top of the Mets order. Ashburn, Chacon, and Mantilla. Ashburn in the box and ready for the pitch from Friend. It's a 1-8. Single. Ashburn lines one into the outfield and has himself a base hit. He's a B-stealer, which means he'll be 1-13 with a hold chance. Chacon coming up. We'll go ahead and do the old hit and run for Chacon, who's not a strong hitter and at 10. Uh, it's probably going to be a fielder's choice. Ground ball to shortstop. Crook picks it up. Flings to Mazeroski to get Ashburn. And there'll be no throw to first as Chacon hustles down the line. So Ilio's on now, also a B-stealer, and Mantia to the plate. Chacon's going to try the uh, old-fashioned way. He tries to steal the base, a 1-13 safe chance, and you see the 15. Leopard guns him down, the second uh, caught stealing of the day for the Mets. And they may be running themselves out of runs here. We'll see if Mantilla can come up with a two-out base hit to keep the inning going. To 5-5, five, five, a ground ball down to Mazeroski. And over to Stewart. So despite two base runners, Friend has still faced the minimum. Mets leave no one. And trail by two as we head to the fifth. It's going to be the top of the order for the Pirates, Verdon, Grote, and Skinner. Miller ready to pitch to Verdon. A 1-9 is a fly ball out to right. Christopher roams over, takes it for the first out. Here's Dick Grote, one for two on the day. 5-7, that's a ground ball second base. Neil is a five, and we roll eight. The eight on the second base, five is an error. Rod Keneal cannot come up with it. He fumbles it, and Grote finds himself on first on the error. One on one down for Bob Skinner, who's one for two with a run score. That's a 1-9 a strikeout. Miller with a clutch strikeout of uh, Skinner. That'll bring up Stewart. A man on, two out. The pitch to Stewart. A 6-3. Grounder down to first. Thronberry. Uh, 6-3. Yep, grounder down to first. Thronberry going to pick it up and flip to Miller for the final out of the fifth. Well, Pittsburgh does not score. Still leading by two as we go to the bottom half. And it'll be Thomas, Thronberry, and Christopher for New York against Friend. Who's on the mound and wastes no time. He pitches to Thomas. 1-7 is a fly ball out to left. No problems for Skinner. Takes it for the first out. Here's Thronberry. A 3-8. That's a ground ball to short. Grote picks it up on the two-hopper. And slings it to the first baseman, Stewart. Two down for New York here in the fifth. Christopher's over one on the day. Friend deals a 1-8. Ground ball down to uh, Oak at third. Fires to Stewart and another 1-2-3 inning for New York. Here in the fifth, or after five, I should say, the Pirates lead two to nothing. And they'll have Clemente, Hook, and Leopard coming up in the sixth. Here's Clemente. Reached both times. He's walked and uh, singled the home a run. Miller deals to him. It's a 1-6, and there's another base hit for Clemente. Now two for two on the day. And Roberto, a C-stealer. With Hope coming up, they're going to go ahead and hit and run. Hasn't been working out for anybody today, but there's a ground ball to the right side. That's going to do the job. Uh, Hope again with a successful 
second run doesn't get a base hit, but moves Clemente into scoring position. Look up to Leopard. Clemente on second, one down. The Miller to deal. A 2-12 is a strikeout for the second out of the sixth. That brings up Bill Mazeroski, who's 0 for 2 today. Struck out his last time up against Miller. Miller with the pitch, a 5-9. Home run, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Mazeroski goes yard. A two-run home run. Off of Bob L. Miller. And the Pirates now lead three to nothing. Bob Friend breathes a sigh of relief as he comes to the plate with two outs. He's happy to have the extra runs. Oh, excuse me, it's four to nothing. That was a two-run home run, so it's four to nothing. So Friend with a little breathing room comes to the plate to hit. A 3-7 as a ground ball down to second. That's going to be Mazeroski over to Stewart. Uh, excuse me. It's not going to be Mazeroski. It's going to be Keneal over to Thronberry to retire the side here in the sixth. But Pittsburgh picks up two big runs. And now has a four-run lead as we go to the bottom of the sixth. <clears throat> the Mets will send up Taylor, Keneal, and Miller. We'll probably see a pinch hitter for Miller. So Sammy Taylor steps up. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Friend deals. A 6-6 six, six is a strikeout. Make it 0 for 2. Taylor, watch that one go by. Stood there like a house on the side of the road. One down, and here's Keneal. He's 1 for 1, singled, and was caught stealing back in the third. What a 2-6 uh, line drive, but right at Grote at short. And that's two quick outs, and Miller's due up. We're going to have a pinch hitter. So Miller went six innings, gave up four runs, and can only lose it. Bob L is going to go back to his place in the rotation. And the pinch hitter for New York is going to be... Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be Jim Hickman, who was enjoying a quiet day off until now. Hickman grabs some lumber and steps up to the plate with two down here in the bottom of the sixth. Hickman's thinking homer or nothing here. Hard to get a two-out rally going with nobody on. Friend ready. And the pitch to Hickman is a 4-9. But what do you know? Home run 1-9, to nine, double 10 to 20. That's a 13, folks, on the awkward roll. A double off the wall for pinch hitter Jim Hickman. And the inning continues. First time all day a Met has reached second base. This will also be the first time all day that New York sends more than three batters to the plate in an inning against Friend. So Ashburn comes to the plate, one for two. He'd love to get a run on the board and give the Mets some hope. Friend has other ideas as he stands there in the stretch, takes the sign and delivers. A 3-11, well, Friend might be getting a little fatigued as he walks Ashburn. He did have the base open, but he'd still prefer not to be putting base runners on board with a four-run lead. It's going to bring up Chacon, 0 for 2, was caught stealing on a fielder's choice, after he reached on a fielder's choice, I should say, back in the fourth. First and second, two outs, a friend delivers to Chacon, a 4-5 is a strikeout. Friend bore down, and got the out he needed, and Oscar is not happy about it. Oscar barks his disapproval as the Mets go down again, no score, and trail by six as we head to the seventh. The Mets will need a pitcher. <clears throat> as Hickman returns to the bench. The new pitcher for New York is going to be Bob Moorhead. What all the boys like. Wait. Um, pitcher four. Relief four. For Moorhead. 
So Moorhead takes the mound. He's going to deal with the top of the Pittsburgh lineup, trying to keep the score where it is to give the Mets a chance to come back in the last three innings. Verdon 0 for 3 today. Moorhead deals a 4-10 as a fly ball out to center. Ashburn's going to come over and make the catch for the first out. Here's Dick Grote. Sounds like something you'd go see the doctor about. Dick Grote. 3-3, three, three, that's a strikeout. Grote's down Grote swinging. So Moorhead strikes out Dick, and uh, we've got too many puns going on to keep track of, folks. None of them are appropriate to this baseball game. Fortunately, this is not marked as a video made for kids here on YouTube. That brings up Bob Skinner with two outs. Bob is one for three with a run scored. Strikeout is last time up. We roll the dice really far, and it's a 3-8. Base hit for Bob Skinner, a two-out single. He's on a first, and he'll be a 1-13. They're going to try it the old-fashioned way here. He's in there with a stolen base. But Moorhead sleeping. More puns enter my brain, and we will leave them alone. Skinner's in scoring position now for Stewart. The pitcher deals a 2-7, and he's going to cash him in. Dick Stewart. A 1 on a 2-7 is a double. Uh, two base hit for Stewart off of Moorhead. The run comes home. Stewart's got himself an RBI two-base hit. And with two outs, there's still a run in scoring position. Pittsburgh now leads 5-0 over New York. And Clemente do up. Clemente with a 5-3. That's ground ball back to uh, Moorhead. Pitcher 4. That's a 15 for those scoring at home on the pitcher 4. That's an error on Moorhead. Oh, no. Moorhead grits his teeth and uh, boots that one. And everybody's going to be safe. Clemente reaches. Stewart moves to third, and it's first and third. Two down, and Don Hoke. Not going to be hitting and running this time, folks. They're going to let him swing the bat. Would love to bust this one open here. Moorhead with the pitch. Five, uh, six. And he does. Triple one to 12. Double. 14 means it's a double for Don Hoke. At the very least, Stewart's going to score. Clemente is around third with two outs. You know they're sending him. He's a one to 18 to come home. No problem there. Well ahead of the throw. Two RBIs. And Moorhead seems to have nothing going today. So with two outs, still a runner in scoring position for Pittsburgh. It's going to be Leopard, who's 0 for 2, does have an RBI and a sack fly. A 2, uh, 7 is a fly ball out to left. Thomas roams over. That's the third out, but a big two-out rally here for the Pirates in the seventh. They had three more runs and now lead uh, a comfortable 7 to nothing. <clears throat> They'll send Mantia, Thomas, and Throneberry to face Friend. In the bottom of the seventh. Bob Friend ready. Pitches uh, to Mantia. It's a 110. Line drive uh, right at the shortstop group for the first out. Frank Thomas 0 for 2 on the day. Friend deals to him. It's a 6 8. There's a base hit for Thomas. He's still trying to win this game, folks. He claps his hands as he gets to first, and the first base coach ignores him. Game's disinterested with that 7 0 lead. Maybe Throneberry can. Put some life in this quiet New York crowd. Friend delivers the one-out pitch. 1-9 one, and strikes out Throneberry. Second time he's got Marv on the day. And with two down and uh, Thomas at first, Joe Christopher will come to the plate. He's grounded out to third twice. And a 6-7 is a base hit. Thomas uh, moves to second and holds there. But two men on now and Sammy Taylor comes to the plate. A 5, a 6, that's a fly ball out to center. Burden has an instance in his sights, roams over, and he will take it. No problem. The Mets leave 2, and still trail by 7. We head to the 8th. It's going to be Mazeroski, a friend, and Verdon do up for Pittsburgh. Here's Bill Mazeroski. But a 5, 8, strikeout. So Moorhead buckles down, gets Mazeroski swinging. And here's Friend, who's 0 for 3 on the day, but he's done a great job on the mound. He grounds this one to Camille at second over to Throneberry for the second out for New York. The Pirates down to their final out here in the eighth. But have a comfortable lead and are not worried about it as Verdun comes to the plate 0 for 4. 
Six, a seven is a fly ball out to right. The third time he's flown out to right today, folks. And that'll end the eighth. No score for the Pirates. Mets coming up. Still trailing by unlucky seven. That means Rod Keneal will lead things off. Keneal one for two on the day. Friend deals a six, seven. He's two for three now. As he lines a uh, friend's pitch into the outfield. And that's going to be it for Moorhead, as we'll see a pinch hitter. So Moorhead sits down on the New York bench. <clears throat> and the Mets, trying to get something going, will go to the veteran Gil Hodges. Hodges grabs some lumber and heads to the plate. Neil at first, friend on the mound, and Hodges is ready. The pitch, a 2-10. Ground ball shortstop. Was Keneal being held? Yes. So that's going to be a through for a base hit. Neil gets over to third on the Hodges base hit. And suddenly New York's got some life here in the eighth. And friend showing some fatigue. This is his uh, weakness inning. So one more hitter walk will mean Friend is done on the day. Actually, we'll let, probably let him go until they score because he does have a shutout, but Ashburn do up <clears throat> with runners at the corners and nobody down. Uh, friend deals to Ashburn. 6-9, that's a double one, single two to 20. Well, that's going to be the end of the shutout. A base hit for Richie Ashburn. Keneal comes in to score. Miller scampers over to third. And the Mets are on the board. Still trail by six, but they have some hope, folks. Runners on the corners, nobody out, and Bob Friend's day is done. I have a new pitcher for Pittsburgh after just a moment. So Friend goes seven complete innings and then can't get it out in the eighth. But a nice job for him today. He stands to win it if the Pirates can close things down. And they're going to bring Bob Veal to the plate. They have Roy Face available. He'd typically close things out for them, but with a big lead, they're going to let Veal try to save face, so to speak. Veal's a pitcher 5, uh, weakness 4. And he will continue to bat in the ninth hole, just like Friend was. So Veal's got his hands full here. He's got Ilio Chacon at the plate. Miller, uh, excuse me, Gil Hodges over at third, uh, Ashburn at first, being held because he's a good base runner. And they're looking for a double play out of Chacon if they can get it. Reveals first pitch, 2 uh, 7, single 1 to 10 or a line out to third. That is a single uh, for Elio Chacon. Hodges is going to come home, Ashburn to second, and the Mets have another run, uh, now trail just 7 to 2. So it's first and second, still nobody out. Bob Veal to deal to Mantia. And that's a 1-8. Ground ball down to third. The third baseman, Hoke, picks it up. Uh, duns it to Mazeroski at second and on to Stewart at first for the 5-4, to 2-3. To a double play. Ashburn does get over to third, but suddenly there are two quick outs. Mets trailing by 5, 2 down. Ashburn on third, and here's Frank Thomas to face Veal here in the 8th. Veal deals to Thomas, a feared slugger. 2-3, that's a base on balls. So that puts runners at the corners again, and Throneberry coming up. Veal's still with the windup against Throneberry, not worried about Thomas stealing a base, and Ashburn's not going to try to steal home with this big a lead. A 3-9, he gets him swinging. Throneberry, his third strikeout of the day. So the Mets leave two, but score two runs. And Throneberry's day is actually going to be done. They're going to keep Hickman in, uh, excuse me, Hodges in to play first. So Hodges is the first base two. Throneberry is out of the game, and uh, the new pitcher will bat in Throneberry's spot fifth. Who is the new pitcher, you may ask? Let's find out. 
going to go ahead and give uh, Ken McKenzie some work, I think. No, actually, they're going to go to uh, Ray Davio. Pitcher three. He's only got to pitch one inning, but his POW is a three in relief. Davio or Dabiolt, if you're from the York. Dabiolt comes to the plate. Uh, actually, he goes to the mound. He's not going to come to the plate. He never, doesn't ever want to hit the ball, ever. He's a terrible hitter. He's a one hitter. He's indicated by his pitcher's hitting card going there in the fifth spot for Thronberry. So Davio is going to have to play, face the 2 3 4 hitters for Pittsburgh and try to keep it uh, where it is a 7 2 uh, Pirates leading over the Mets. Grote, Skinner, and Stewart do up. Here's Grote, one for four on the day. A five, three is a ground ball back to Davio. He's a three fielder. You roll a two, and that's a base hit up the middle. Dick Grote with his second base hit of the day. And this one may not get any closer, folks. As Bob Skinner comes to the plate. A one, five, that's a strikeout. Davio gets Skinner swinging for the first Pittsburgh out. Here comes Dick Stewart, two for four. Two runs scored today. A 6 7 is a grounder to second. Caneel's a 5 11. That's going to be a fielder's choice. So Stewart will reach. The 4 6 retires Grote. And there are two down. Stewart on first. And Clemente do up. Clemente has reached all four times today. A walk, two singles, and a reached on an error. He scored two runs and driven in a run. Roberto ready. Ready to deal. 1-5, that's a fly ball center field. Uh, Ashburn roams over, as my outfielders are wont to do in my uh, lexicon, and uh, make the final out for the Pirates here in the ninth. But Pittsburgh has a five-run lead. Uh, Veal returns to the mound, and he'll face Christopher, Taylor, and Keneal. Joe Christopher, one for three on the day. He's ready. It's a 4-6. He's down on strikes. One down for New York here in the ninth. They're running out of chances, folks. Here's Sammy Taylor. He's 0 for 3. A 5, 7. That's a base on balls. So Taylor walks. And Keneal coming up. Keneal's got two base hits today. He scored a run his last time up. And a 6, 7 is a base hit. Into the outfield. His third hit of the day. Keneal's swinging the bat well in the early going of the season. Now it's first and second with one down for Gil Hodges against Veal. Five run lead for Pittsburgh, but they don't want to give up any more base runners. Veal to Hodges. Z4, six, that's a strikeout. So the Mets down to their final out. And it's going to be Richie Ashburn to the plate. Two for three on the day is Ashburn with a walk and an RBI. He'll face Veal. Veal ready. The slide step on the pitch. It's a 6-6, six, six, and he loses Ashburn. To load the bases, folks. So even if Chacon hits a uh, grand slam here, the Mets would still trail by one. So Veal really should just put the ball over the plate and let Chacon do his darndest. Let's see if he heeds the advice. Catcher Leppert, out to talk to him, back behind the plate, and we're ready to go as the ump says, play ball! And Neil with the pitch to Chacon. Bases loaded, two outs, bottom of the ninth, a 1-9. That's a grounder on the ground toward Grote. I don't know where else a grounder would be, but on the ground. And that's going to be the final out as he slings it to Stewart to retire Chacon. So the Mets load the bases in the ninth, but are unable to score. Story of their day is uh, missed opportunities. They leave three on. And they lose to Pittsburgh. Uh, seven to two. Bob Friend is going to get the win. No save in this one. And uh, Miller, Bob L. Miller, that is, is going to take the loss for New York. So the Mets fall to two and two. The Pirates even their record at two wins and two losses. And that is uh, game number 43 in our 1962 uh, Cards and Dice Stratomatic Baseball Replay here on Strat Baseball History. My name is Joe, and I hope you've enjoyed our game. Please hit the subscribe button, and don't forget 
to do this a thumbs up if you like this video. We'll be back with more baseball uh, tomorrow. Until then, remember, every day is a great day for baseball. Take care.